What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Mississippi State opens up with Tulane and Southern Miss. We didn't have those rosters. Those will not be easy wins for the Bulldogs, but we're going to say that they win both of those games and for this video say that they're 2 and 0 before this game against Kansas State. They're up 7 nothing here against the Wildcats. If uh, the Kansas State fumbles was the football here as they were going in looking like they were potentially going to tie that game up uh, and that was a big big turnover in this game Bulldogs now up 20 to 3 as you see they've taken the momentum here in the fourth quarter they're looking to pull away and there goes Kylan Hill all the way to the end zone Bulldogs pull away 34 to 9 the final score in this game and this is one that you could have watched live here on the channel if you missed it you can go back and watch it if you want to see the full game but Mississippi State did win it 34 to 9 now we head into SEC play. Bulldogs open up at home against Kentucky. We'll start there. 7-7. Or late for first quarter. Keaton Thompson runs one in for five yards out. And Mississippi State's up 14-7. Now he's going to take a shot deep. And that's a touchdown. Bulldogs up 21-7. Now Thompson makes it 28-7. So they are rolling here in this game. But Kentucky is coming back. It's 28 to 20 now, late third quarter. Terry Wilson takes off on a second down and 10. Fumbles the football. It's picked up, and it's taken all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Ali, the receiver, gets credited with that touchdown. They go for two trying to tie the game up. They don't get it. So it's 28-26 now. Mississippi State gets a touchdown, and that makes it a two-possession game because Kentucky decided to go for two earlier. Uh, maybe you should wait there, but we'll see what happens. Terry Wilson here with an excellent run into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's now 35-33. Third down and four. Mississippi State gets stopped, and Kentucky will get the ball back. And actually, the Bulldogs are going to go for a long field goal here. And they miss it. Questionable play call there. Uh, Kentucky has a chance. But on second down, they are sacked. That's going to make it third and long. And now it's fourth and long. Terry Wilson throws it, and he completes the pass. Finds a receiver inside the five-yard line. And that would be the play that would allow them to set up the game-winning field goal. Kentucky comes back in this game, and they win it 36-35. to What a comeback there from Kentucky. And that's a tough loss for Mississippi State as they lose this one at home by one point. 36-35, the final score. Next game for Mississippi State is on the road at Auburn. And we'll go to that one next. 3-0, Bulldogs on top, but Auburn has the football around the 10-yard line. And Joey Gatewood on an option play. A little pitch, and that's going to be a touchdown. Jatarvius Whitlow runs it in. It's now 7-3, Auburn. Here late in the first half, they get a touchdown, and that's going to put them up 14-3. So momentum on their side going into the second half. They run one in here, makes it 21-3. But Mississippi State still has a chance to maybe come back in this game. Thompson runs one in. It's 21-10. And if you're wondering about Tommy Stevens, I recorded a lot of these games before Tommy Stevens was even on the team, before he even transferred. As you see, Auburn busts a big run here. And uh, anytime there's a quarterback competition or anything like that, we're going to go with the veteran, the guy that's been there the longest. So I still would have went with Thompson, even though Tommy Stevens could, of course, win that starting job this fall. But Auburn wins this game 35-25. to And Mississippi State's going to start SEC playoff 0-2. Next game is against Tennessee. We pick it up uh, early in the game. First drive of the game. Bulldogs a little option play. They go up 7-0. Tennessee now. Uh, looking to tie this game up. There is a fumble on the play. Bulldogs are going to pick it up. And they are going to take off of this ball. And no one is going to catch him. It's going to be a, I don't know, a 95-yard touchdown uh, fumble return. Crazy play in this game. Right when Tennessee looked like they were going to probably tie that game up. Uh, so we move on to the fourth quarter. It's 20-6. to Tennessee hanging in there. They make it 20-13. to And they have a chance to tie it here. With under two minutes to play, they do just that. They run it in, and we are tied at 20 in the fourth quarter. A little over a minute, to, minute and a half to play now. Mississippi State with it. Thompson going deep, finds a receiver, and that is a big play all the way down to the 10-yard line. Malik Deer coming up with that catch, and they use some clock on second down and eight. They're going to put it in the end zone. Kylan Hill runs it in, and the Bulldogs will win it 27-20. They get their first win in the SEC and going on the road to beat Tennessee. 
And we've already done every SEC team that you're going to see here on this video. So if you've watched all those videos, you already know the results from these games. But uh, some of you probably haven't watched all of our videos. And so we're going to still go through and show you each game. Uh, they play LSU next. And this was a close game, low scoring game. LSU gets the touchdown there to go up 13 to 3. Bulldogs trying to come back. Third down and five. Thompson throws an interception, an ill advised pass there. And they were hanging around in this game. Uh, it was staying close, low scoring, but that turnover really gave LSU a chance here. And Joe Burrow would take advantage, put it into the end zone with that touchdown run. LSU. On top now, 20 to three. Still some fight left in the Bulldogs. They get this touchdown to make it 20 to 10. And now they need a stop, and they would get their stop on third and 12. LSU tries a screen pass. They get blown up, and now Mississippi State has the football. But they would come down to a fourth and one to keep the game alive. They go to the ground and they pick it up. Kylan Hill runs it out close to the 30-yard line. They get closer now on first and goal. Thompson going to run with it. Maybe, yes, he will. He gets through the traffic, and he takes it in. So we have a three-point game. Just like that, Mississippi State back in the ball game. 20 to 17, they need a stop here, and they can't get it. LSU is able to seal this game with a big run there to get the first down, and they survive. 20 to 17, a nice comeback effort there for Mississippi State, but they come up just short. Mississippi State now on the road to face Texas A&M. Early in the game, A&M with the ball. They throw a pick six. Mississippi State coming up with a big turnover there. And they're up 7-0. But Aggies coming back. They get this touchdown and tie the game up at 7. There was a flag on the play, but it was on Mississippi State. Uh, now it's tied at 7 here. Second quarter, Kellen Mon bursting through the middle of the field. He'll take it all the way for a touchdown. And the Aggies take a 14-7 lead. 14-10 at this point, a and still on top, and they're looking for more. They would increase that lead here, 21-10 now the score. 24-13 in the fourth quarter now. Thompson will play action going to the end zone. That was fourth down. They turn it over on downs. Maybe it should go for the field goal there. I don't know. Uh, they do get this touchdown here with just a few seconds to play, but it's too little too late unless they can recover this onside kick and get a Hail Mary, and that's – Obviously a lot to ask, and they don't even get the onside kick. So there you go. A&M was at 24-19 to in Mississippi State. Still with just that one conference win over Tennessee. They've got to get it together. If they're going to make a bowl game, uh, they'll need at least one more conference win. They did win all their non-conference games. Um, so we'll see if they can get that done. Their next game is on the road at Arkansas. Arkansas did very well in our simulations. If you've watched the videos, you know that. Uh, Keaton Thompson runs this one in for a touchdown. Stayed up 10 to three. Now Arkansas with it. They tie the game at 10. Now late in the first half. Now that ball floats in the air. It's going to be intercepted. Arkansas gets a big turnover here with under two minutes to play in the first half. They look to cash it in. Hicks going to the end zone. It's a touchdown, and Arkansas would take the lead into halftime. Big momentum swing there. Hicks now in the third quarter going to the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown. And Arkansas is now up by 14. Razorbacks up 27 to 10 now. But Mississippi State is not going away. They go for it here on fourth down. They get stopped, and that was really their last chance. Last chance to stay in this game, and they can't get it done. Arkansas wins it 27 to 10, and Mississippi State continues to struggle. They still got Alabama on the schedule and Ole Miss. Uh, they will have to win one of those two games just to get to a bowl game. Uh, as this team just has had a pretty rough year. The next game is that Alabama game. They're at home. Can they pull off a shocker? Well, let's see what happens. Early in the ball game, Alabama with the football. Tua Tungavailoa runs with it and takes it in for the 7 nothing lead Alabama. 7-3 to three now, Bama with it. They go to the ground. It's Najee Harris into the end zone for the touchdown. And Alabama's up 14-3. to three. Now here about... 48 seconds to play before halftime. Tua takes a shot, and this was a dagger here. This is this is tough if you're the Bulldogs because that was right before halftime. Now all of a sudden you're down 21 to three, uh, but they keep fighting. They get stopped here. How many times have we seen them stopped on fourth down near the goal line? Uh, and that was their chance to get back in the game. They couldn't do it. Uh, a lot of defense in this one. Alabama survives 21 to six. 
Uh, despite holding the tie to just 21 points, they couldn't get it going offensively, and they're going to lose this game. They do have another game against Abilene Christian, an FCS opponent. We're going to assume that they win that game. And then it comes down to the Egg Bowl. A spot in a bowl game is on the line here for the Bulldogs, and we just did Ole Miss, I think, yesterday. Uh, so if you watched that video, you already saw the results here. But if you didn't, we're going to go through the entire highlights. 14 nothing there, but Ole Miss coming back makes it 14 to 7. Keaton Thompson on a little option play. Uh, the pitch, Kylan Hill takes it in. It's 21 to 7 now. They would have had a field goal to make it 24 to 7, and it felt like they were pulling away here. It made it 31 to 7, but Ole Miss just kept coming, and they get it down to a 14 point game on fourth down. They go for it here, and they convert, and just like that, it's a seven point game. The Rebels have a chance. They need a stop here. Are they going to get it? Yes, they are. And they're going to get the football back with a chance to tie this game. Matt Corral is sacked here on third down, and that's going to make for a very difficult fourth down and 20. Can they pick it up and keep the game alive? They cannot do it. That is incomplete, and Mississippi State survives. They win the Egg Bowl, and they will be going to a bowl game at 6-6. Six and six. So they barely get it, but they get a couple of wins in the SEC. They won all their non-conference games, including an impressive win over Kansas State. And the Bulldogs will finish 6-6. Six and six. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.